You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. Last time on SV Fulson, Alan begins work on SV Fulson and hires Carson to sand the bottom. Jason returns from Chicago with a working knee, and we explore the local Green Cove Springs area. So inside of SV Full Send, Leslie's hooked us up with a air conditioner, which we've Jimmy rigged up to the top hatch, insulation. Alan's blocked out with reflective uh, styrofoam. Yeah, that way to uh, get a little bit of the sun off of us and reflect back off. We have two tarps up top that are helping not make this like a oven. But as you can see, it still says 83 degrees, but it's a whole, a whole hell of a lot better than 95 degrees, so. Alan's moved to the bow cabin. I'm moving back into his cabin. So just clearing it out now, getting all my, my stuff. All right, so Alan's dad is in town, so he's out with him and his stepmom right now. I'm trying to get my new room situated. Almost getting there. A little bit less than the other room. So just trying to figure out where to put all this stuff. And I got some more stuff when I was up there. Uh, space is really tight. I thought I didn't have a lot of stuff and I got rid of a bunch before coming down, but uh, it turns out I still have quite a bit to probably get rid of in terms of clothes, getting down to just a couple pairs of underwear, bathing shorts, a couple tank tops, and a couple t-shirts. It's really all you need. I have a lot of hats too, which I don't need so many hats, so I gotta try to figure out what I want to get rid of with that. They've got Hungry Howies down here in Florida. I haven't had that since uh, Bullock. Uh, Fort Knox, so I'm going to go grab some of that tonight. Come back, uh, pump up some tunes, and continue to try to organize down here, so should be good. So, 7 a.m. Uh, nope. Alan and I got gym memberships. Going to work the knee out a little bit more. Stay a little bit fit from moving up on this boat. Go. Plus, I got a shower, too. A nice shower. They got a shower here, but it's kind of dingy. Um, but, yeah. Go uh, get a workout in, uh, then start the day. We got a laundry list of stuff to do. Uh, we'll run through that afterwards. There we go. So what, uh, what are we doing? Taking the life raft, getting the service, see what we need to replace and upgrade. So it's gonna cost like $400 just to test it. And then anywhere from like eight to $2,000 to see what we need to have fixed in there. When was the last time it was serviced? April 2018, but uh, hopefully it's still, everything's still somewhat new in there. You don't have to replace too much. So the propane's a European uh, tank. I think maybe German or French, I don't know. but. There's no adapter for many of the propane stores for U.S. because uh, they're different. So we're trying to go to a shell store, see if they can fill it up, because apparently they fill it up with fiberglass propane tank, which I've never heard of before. So maybe they'll have that adapter. Alan's having a hard Monday. <laughs> Couldn't find his phone. Oh, there Let's it go. is. <laughs> Senior moment. Well, it was good. <laughs> At least you brought it with. <laughs> yeah. We just uh, stopped at, uh, what was it, Welford Propane in Jacksonville. Pretty much they said no, they can't fill up our European tanks. We also posted on a sailing cruiser forum on Facebook and pretty much told it that what we were doing was not safe filling butane with propane <laughs> due to some type of different pressure. So maybe we dodge a bullet there, who knows. Uh, maybe do a little more research next time before we just say, yeah, that works. So apparently there's a couple of tanks, uh, propane tanks that are about five pounds. We have the dimensions, just gotta check the tank uh, compartment, make sure that it'll fit in there. And then just buy the uh, adapter and change out uh, the European connection on the hose. So we can actually start cooking. Yeah. Uh, 
we'll see. So right now we're off to Datrix uh, Life Raft servicing place. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go up there, uh, see some of the bridges, hang out, grab a beer or something before we get over there. That tricks. Alright, it's time to get this uh, hooked in. It's a little heavy. <laughs> So we couldn't film in there possibly this time. We asked if they could uh, talk to the owner, see if we can get the film when it's open, at least have us here so we know what all is in the life raft just in case we ever need to use it. We'll know, oh hey, here's where the water, here's where the fish. Well, since we were last videotaping, uh, we had dropped off the life raft to get service. They didn't let us record inside. Uh, and it's been about two days now, they've opened it up. And they got to replace a few items, they said, and it's coming out to a total of $1,096.14. A pretty hefty fee, uh, but hey, you, you know, you want the protection of the life raft. Uh, so we're going to go look at it now. We might be able to take some pictures if they shift it around. The reason is because I guess they do a lot of stuff for the Navy and they can't videotape any of the military equipment or respect their wishes. Uh, so we're going to head off and do that now. Uh, also, Leslie's back in town after coming back from Bucket Lust Dodecanese route. Uh, so probably link up with him uh, and see how everything went uh, and start making some plans for what else we're going to do. But uh, another sunny day in Florida here. Let's get it. <laughs> Leslie just iced him. just got back. We keep ordering shit to his house. <laughs> he just got back yeah, this should morning. Have should have had him look at it because uh. he talks about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too good. <laughs> oh, well, well placed. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Very well placed, my man. Yeah. I was like, oh, you guys aren't coming till noon. I have time to run a target real quick and get some ice. <laughs> Stopping over on uh, Naval Air Station Jacksonville real quick to get some lunch, and Alan's got to print off a uh, shipping thing. We're getting a trade in any camera. We got a broken camera that flooded, uh, and you get 100 bucks off any kind of GoPro that you want to order. So, uh, we're going to get that shipping receipt and send it out. So, maybe a GoPro 7 Black. Stopping at the exchange. Yeah. Alan's got uh, access to the uh, base here. So we utilize it and get that tax free stuff. Yeah. Hey, we're uh, back at the Life Raft servicing place, Datrix. Apparently, them opening up $400 and then about another $690 for a total of about $1,090 uh, to fix all the things, make sure that we're good to go and we don't have something that's not workable when we, if something were to bad happen to the boat. But better be safe than sorry. All right. Got our, so we got here's our raft. Hopefully this is the last time we see it out. Yeah. <laughs> we got water, fishing, motion sickness, flares, the shooting flares, got your light, got something to, to plug holes, got a patch repair kit which doesn't really make sense when you're out to sea. Then this is another repair kit. You slide that into the hole and then you bolt it in. Then this is a little hand pump and a little drinking cup. Uh, Baylor water, water, water bags. Water bags. To so move over to the raft, we got the ladder coming up. Lights up top too. Turns on and off. Yeah. But there's quite a bit of stuff I wasn't expecting a lot. So these are water bags and collect the rainwater coming down here. Uh, those side pump valves right there. That's for pumping it by hand. You got yeah. some rope to throw. Got your knife in here. Got this 100 feet of rope in case someone falls out. You can throw something to them to grab. Yeah. Then under, there's that strap that you need to pull on. Yeah, you put your feet here. In case we uh, get it upside down. Down by that, that black bag at the bottom is going to be where the cylinder is for the gas. Yeah. Bailing bags. Yeah. But uh, yeah, another another rope ladder over here. But here's the old one. We're going to get it replaced. Yeah, nice new one. We don't want to have to do this. <laughs> but good for hey, you know, at least we know everything in there is supposed to work the way it's supposed to, so we can have that kind of peace of mind. Exactly. So, but uh, overall, it's uh, $1,096.14 and 14 cents uh, to replace and get it all done, but uh, kind of worth it uh, yeah. in the end. Uh, it's not a good idea to be cheap right now when it comes to something that might save your life.
it. So yeah. thousand eleven hundred bucks. I'll take it. <laughs> Good. All right. Emergency rations. Emergency rations. Yeah. Our day track brand. What, uh, what's, right. what's actually in them? Is it just like on a... Well, here's what it looked like. This was opened oh, by the wow. Coast Guard last week. <laughs> yeah. So It's like hard tack. <laughs> yeah. But it's real, you know, it's, it's really nutritious. nutritious. Yeah, yeah, and it, it'll fill you up something terrible. Wow. Yeah. You just don't want to... Can we try some? Yeah. Oh, really? All right, so randomly Facebook messaged uh, along with a bunch of other people in the bucket list kind of group about possibly doing, I don't know, something with the show on Anchor, not on Anchor. Below Deck. Below Deck. Yeah. He asked if we could chat for a little bit, so I sent him some stuff with Alan and me with the YouTube channel, told him about the boat. Uh, so I'm going to give him a call now, and uh, we're going to see what he's got to offer, and yeah. Conan? Good, good. How you doing? Bye-bye. <laughs> I don't Woo! know what that was, but all right. <laughs> ah, dude, this would, this would be really cool. It this would be. be. Uh, this would be good for the channel. This would be good for our cash flow. Yeah. <laughs> we just dropped a thousand ninety six dollars. Pretty much eleven $1, hundred dollars. Yeah. So um, any little bit helps. <laughs> let's do it. I, I think we're pretty interesting people. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what they think. All right. All right. Well, we uh, just talked to Bob, the owner of uh, Green uh, Green Cove Springs Marina. We got the estimate for pretty much everything uh, broken up into light sanding, um, the keel and the rudder, which uh, they both know that the, the rudder has to be taken down to the fiberglass and that the keel has to be taken down basically to uh, to the metal, the iron, the lead, whatever it is, uh, because there's some rust, so it's got to go all the way down. The rudder, because it was blisters all over it, so um, you know, we'll probably show water seeped in what so like you can see these little tiny blisters they kind of like puff up you stick them with a something sharp and a little bit of water comes out luckily which means that the gel coat was completely ruined so you gotta take it all the way down to the fiberglass and then build it back up and then uh, you know they said for painting um, bottom keel rudder plus labor would be 285 uh, and then we've also got the material for the full job is 85 and then you got the material for the sanding which is 40 we kind of just discussed what we wanted to do, and it looks like uh, you know we still want to paint, you know, get that experience. But the heavy lifting, the, the hard work is the, the, you know, the sanding, and we don't know how deep, how much pressure. So we're gonna film the guy. We're gonna go in and say that we're good with sanding. We'll film him, try and learn from him. So that if we're in Malaysia somewhere, or somewhere in the South Pacific, and we have to you know get hauled out. We can then do it ourselves. So we'll. We'll film him, we'll watch him, study him, and, and learn from him. Not too bad, about 715 for sanding and you know, the materials for the sanding. So it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too much. We thought it might be a little over a thousand, so it looks like it's going to be all right. So just need to go talk to Bob and get it confirmed, get a date. And then it uh, looks like it's probably going to be Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of next week. He's trying to finish a uh, current job. But it is Florida in the summer and there's rain showers all the time. So you can't really sand when it's raining. So it's weather dependent. So until then. If you like this video and want to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and help support us on Patreon. You guys silly? I'm still going to send it.